I've been seeing the request for my lip collection now for a minute, so we are finally getting to it today. I have for you my entire lipstick collection. This is two of them, and then I also have two additional bullets over there, so it's going to be a long one. Let's go ahead now and get started. The system that I have them on is called a pack system, and I really wanted to do these rollouts because I really wanted my lipsticks to be accessible and very easy for me to just grab and know exactly what I needed. So this system has worked amazing for me. I just am so happy with how I did this. So these little clear bins here are just from Target and how I have it organized is by formula as well as brand. So this top one that you're staring at right now is all of my liquid lipsticks. Now I have so many liquid lipsticks I'm actually surprised because I honestly don't even really reach for them that often so I'm not sure how I acquired so many but here we are. This is my liquid lipstick so like I said I have them by brand so we'll just kind of get started there. So let's go ahead and start here in the front. So this first one here is my MAC lipsticks. So these are the Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks. I think that's what they're called. Lip lacquers, Powder Kiss liquid lip colors. <laughs> this is actually one of my most viewed videos on YouTube, which is very interesting to me as a lip swatch video of these, but a nice formula. I do like it. It's very comfortable on the lips. I prefer this to the original Powder Kiss lipsticks. I think it is a nicer formula, but I just keep, kept a few shades. I think I have seven all together that I've kept of these. I do like them, but I kind of just kept my more favorite British shades. And then this next bin here is Maybelline. I have a lot of Maybelline lipsticks. They're actually one of my favorite drugstore lip options. So I have some of their lip vinyls. I really, really like these. I have quite a few different colors. I know they just released even some more colors I just got in the mail, but I haven't had a chance to put them in here yet. But I do really like this formula. It's very long wearing, very nice on the lips. If you haven't tried it before, I do recommend. And then I also really love their matte ink formula. This is kind of one that I feel like some people love, but some people hate. I personally love it. I I think it's great. So I have quite a few different shades in that, a lot of reds. And then I know I have a few pink ones here on the bottom. This marble color right here, this one that was a part of the marble launch, this one is called Lover. It's so pretty on the lips. Really, really great color right there. I really like that one a lot. So I have quite a few of those. And then I also have a lot of these crayons, and I never hear anyone talking about these, but they're great. These are the Superstay Lip Crayons, and what I like about these is that you can actually use them as lip liners along with lip color. So very long wearing on the lips, very comfortable. I think they're amazing. There are a lot of nude options, which I like. I also have a red one here. I think these are really nice. So that is all of my Maybelline liquid lipsticks. And then next up I have my Florence lipsticks. So these are called the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. And this again is a really nice comfortable formula. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about these, but I think they're really nice. So I have, I think the entire range of these because they did send them to me in PR. They kind of have a more like velvety feel to them on the lips, but they do dry down really nice. And then underneath these I have some other of her lip products as well. These are called the I Got Gloss Gloss. I normally keep my glosses on the other side, but I must have just put these in here <laughs> to have all of my Florence together, but I have a few shades in that as well. Moving along, I have Joseph Colors up next. I have quite a few different lip products from them. I also put my Persona liquid lipsticks in here, and these are actually one of my favorite lipstick formulas that I own. I think they are so, so comfortable, very beautiful on the lips. So I have quite a few of those in their liquid lipsticks, and then also Joseph Colors. Now, Joseph Colors used to be like the holy grail brand I feel like for liquid lips I have since you know kind of stepped away from them I really haven't purchased a lot from them but I have a few shades left still in my collection I know I got this little mini set one year that I loved um I like the colors I've kept I think Savage this one is called what is it called Fire something I, that was in the Desi and Katie collab and then this one is Kids of Fire I've kept the shades that I like I think Stone and also this one is Truffle just like the OGs but I don't really ever reach for these so that is there and then this formula I do really like as well this is from Honest Beauty you can find these on Amazon they have a great liquid lipstick formula very comfortable on the lips it wears really nicely and they have some really nice shade options so I think I have the entire range of those and those are really pretty the next one here I have some of the balm lipsticks I only have a couple that I've kept but these are the meat matte hues so just a couple of colors of those that I have decided to keep in my collection so I have three of those and then next over here I do have a few from bare minerals and then I also have a couple from kbd vegan beauty so bare minerals came out with these I think it was this year but I think they're really nice they're called their lasting matte lipsticks and I have three different shades I liked this formula I thought it was really comfortable on the lips nice and easy to use and then I have a few shades from the KVD Vegan Beauty, so just a couple of those left that I have. 
And then next over here, I do have my Kylie. Now, I did add the few glosses I do have from her in here because sometimes I feel like it doesn't make sense to, you know, have the glosses over there if I just have a couple from the brand. So these are just a gloss set that I got from Ulta. So a few of those glosses. And then I do have still three of her liquid lipsticks. And I feel like, honestly, these are probably pretty old. I've had them <laughs> quite a while, but I do keep them. Um, so, yeah, I know she, I think, has done her packaging different now, but those are like the OGs. Moving on to my Huda Beauty, I have a lot of her lip products. I have the liquid mattes, and then I also have some of her demi matte formula in here as well. I do really enjoy her lip products. So I have, oh my gosh, quite a few different shades from her. I'm also on her PR list, so I feel like I do receive quite a few of her lip products. And then in this next little bin right here, I do have some NARS. Not very many left, honestly. I've gotten rid of quite a lot of my NARS, but I just have a few different formulas here. And then I also have Ofra over here. These are their Flexi Slick lipsticks, and I have just a few of their liquid lipsticks left. I do really like this Flexi Slick um, formula as well. Okay, and then I have quite a few here in the back. So in this back one, this one's kind of just like a mix. I think I have just like a few different brands in here. I know I have some Anastasia, some CoverGirl, L'Oreal, Sam Marcel. I have one from Makeup Forever. Just kind of a mix of ones that I don't use all too often. And then the kind of same thing in here. I think I have, again, just a mixture of brands that I only have a few from. One from Fenty. Um, this one is from Tarte. And then I have a few from this brand, Ambrige. I do really like these. They're a nice formula. And then same thing with this one. I just have a few from the drugstore. So these are actually a really nice option from um, Joa. They are the Wet the Matte lipsticks. I only have two shades, but they're really, really comfortable. And then I have one from Sleek Makeup there as well. And then this one here, I have some from Grande. Also a few different options from Pixie. And then I also have one in here from the brand Nude Sticks. I think this formula is actually really nice too. They have a nice crayon. And then in this one, I have some more of my high-end ones. So I have a few of the Power Magic ones from Giorgio Armani. So a few shades in that. I also have Il Maquillage here. And then I also have one from a brand called Thera Brushes. I don't think they're even around anymore. But this was a really nice um, lipstick from them. And then in this one, I have a few from Lottie London. I really like their formula. This one right here in the shade Vibes is so, so pretty, especially in the fall months. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have a red from them as well. And then I have some of the Kissable Lips from Koki Cosmetics, as well as one in here from Seattle London. And then I didn't even notice I did this. I have a couple more of the Balm. I think this ended up in the wrong thing here, so I'm going to put those over there. Just a couple more of their Neat Matte Hues. And these are actually a nice formula. This is from the Uma Beauty Sharon C line that is available at Walmart. These are cool because they're like a lip tint, but they're almost like an oil with a gloss. They're a really cool formula. They last really long on the lips and they're really, really comfortable. So they give a lot of shine in the beginning and then after a while, they kind of dry down into a liquid lip. And then I have lots of these Physicians Formula Lips. I think I've had these honestly forever, but they're such a nice formula from the drugstore. Actually, in general, I really love these. They're one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. And then I just have a few more over here. I have some from NYX and also from Revlon. So one of their lipsticks, I do like these. These are the vinyl lip polishes. And then a couple of the NYX suede lips. And then, oh my gosh, that is not a good formula. I honestly should probably get rid of that one. And then in this one here, I have a lot of Wet n Wild. These are actually Wet n Wild glosses. I think I ran out of room in my gloss drawer, but I have some of those. And then I also have some of their liquid lips as well. I do like those. And then these I got from the Shop Miss A. I think they're so cute. They're like little wine bottles, but they are a matte formula. They're so, so cute. So I have those. And then lastly here, I just have one last little bin with some more liquid lips, some from Thrive Cosmetics, as well as Motive um, Cosmetics. I don't even know if they're still around, but they have a really nice gloss formula or liquid lipstick formula that used to be my favorite. So that is everything for this top little drawer here. So all of my liquid lips. And then if I roll this out and roll the second one, this is all of my bullet lipsticks. So this first one here in the front has some of my Giorgio Armani lipsticks. They sent me a PR package. So I got a lot of these power lipsticks from them. These are like the stick versions. And then I also have one from YSL in here as well. This next one, I just have some of my like lip balms. So I have some by Florence by Mills. I really like these. I think they're a really nice formula. They're very hydrating on the lips. They have some tinted ones. They're really cute. I have also the Makeup by Mario one in here as well. And then this one is from Moon. It's a moon glow. I thought this one was kind of fun. It's like a neon lip in case I ever wanted that. 
I have these ones from Origins. They came out with these. I don't think they still make these, but they're really pretty lipsticks. I did a lip swatch video on them on YouTube, and I feel like it did really well as well. But um, this was a nice formula. I kept them around. It's like a satin, but it has like a little bit of a glow to it. So I just kept my favorite colors in those. Um, some here from Dahlia Cosmetics and then a few MAC lipsticks here. I have another tower that I can show you guys at the end that has all of the rest of my MAC lipsticks, but just a couple from there. This bin, I normally keep all of my lip masks, but I think I've taken most of them out to use, but I have this one from Kaleidos and then also one of these e.l.f. lipsticks. I think this is a great um, lip option if you're looking for something fun. This is a red color from them. I think this one is called Apple or it's called Pepper. Sorry, Red Pepper. This next one here has all of my Joa lips. They, again, amazing formula. They have this one, which is called their Light Air Lipstick. If you will like the um, MAC Powder Kiss, great dupe for those. I feel like they are actually better than the MAC one, in my opinion. They don't have that weird scent, and they have a kind of like airy look on the lips, but I have quite a lot of colors in those. And then I also have some of their Jelly Lips, and then I think this is just the regular lipstick formula from them as well. This one's fun. This is just some of those like flower lipsticks. Remember when these were like a big deal, but they are the ones that have the flowers in the middle of them. I got these on Amazon. They're fun, just like pH balance lipstick. And then I also have in here one from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is in the shade Penelope, which I love is because my daughter's name is Penelope. So I feel like I had to get that shade from her. And then just some lip balms again in this one. These are the Fruit Kiss Lipsticks from Essence. I liked those a lot. And then also just some chapsticks I have, I think, in here as well. I've been looking for those, actually. So good to know that they're in here. And then in this one here, I have lots of my NARS. So these are a lot of their Afterglow lip balms. I love those. I also have in here a few different ones from YSL and also one from House of Siage as well. And then from Urban Decay, I have a ton of their Vice Lipsticks. And I am so happy that I have a ton of these now because this is one of my favorite bullet lipstick formulas. And I got to do a campaign with them. So they sent me a big PR package. So I got all of the lipsticks. And these are great. They have a cream formula and also a more matte formula. So those are great. From Huda Beauty, I have a lot of her lipsticks here as well. I've narrowed this down because over the years I've gotten a lot of these also in PR. But um, I kind of kept my favorite shades in her matte formula. And then I also have her silk. So what are these called? These are called the sparkly lip balms which they are very very sparkly if you haven't seen these before they're so cool looking um but yeah i have quite a few different colors in those and then here in the back i know i have a lot of lancome and also some becca in this one it's kind of just random honestly some of the love lipsticks from becca that they used to have and then a lot of just like the lancome lipsticks i think i've kept these over the years um this one i just have a lip scrub here from buxom i really like this they're dragon fruit lip mask so i just have that in here these are all of my catrice lipsticks they sent over some of these um what are these called the drunken diamond lip balms they kind of remind me a lot of the huda beauty um super pretty though so i have those from them and then i also have some milani in here and also some wet and wild so more of like my drugstore lippies and then this next one i just have some from japanese they have a lipstick formula that i like so i have a few of their bullet lipsticks one from the frosted flakes and glam lake collection and then i also have this maybelline lipstick in here as well this is the ultimate lipstick and then I think this one is also kind of random. I got a bunch of these House of Siash um, matte lipsticks. These are great, and you have to kind of put them in their little holder. So I just have them still in the packaging, but really great formula. And then I have some more Dolt Head here as well. I really like their lip crayons. I think they're really nice. I have another one of those lip masks from Clio, so I'm gonna move that over there. But these are some of my K Beauty ones. I have the Jill Stewart lipsticks. These are so pretty I think this actually comes up and there's like a mirror in there they're so stunning and then these are more of like a balmy lipstick they're so so nice i have a few shades in that and then i also have some from the dear dahlia brand these are really pretty as well and again just some more randoms in here i think i got these mixed up but there's another jill stewart this is that same brand i just showed you look at the packaging so pretty um and then i think in here i just have more like random ones i have some from essence make revolution um this one is from winky Lux. just a few like fun random lip -ies. i have this one from copper girl they recently sent these over it's actually a really nice formula what are these called these are the hyaluronic acid lipsticks i think is what they're called these are really nice um they have quite a few different shades but i've been enjoying them they have like this little thing in the middle um that makes them really nice and moisturizing but yeah i have quite a lot of shades 
I think I have one of the lip liners from that collection as well. Then the last few over here are just some more random ones. These are some Kylie. I also have in here some from Tarte, a KKW one, and also some Bite Beauty. And then this last one here has lots of random ones again. I have some from Revlon in here, um, some ColourPop. I have also some Buxom. I think this is just like a bunch of ones that were kind of overflow. And then this last one doesn't have anything in it. So it might need to, let me put these ColourPop ones over there. Kind of organize that a little bit better. So I'll move those over there. And that is everything for this drawer. This is again, just my bullet lipsticks. I will close that and then I'll move you guys over to my lip gloss section. So here's a look at that drawer. This one is like my favorites because I love <laughs> lip glosses. I feel like it's a lot, but it's very organized again, which I appreciate. So starting here in the front, one of my favorite gloss formulas, I actually have three separate bins of the Buxom glosses, <laughs> so it's kind of intense. Um, these are the polishes, I believe, yes. So I have them kind of separated by formula, so these are all of my polishes. And then I also have all of the creams in this one, or yeah, these are all the creams, and so I have lots of those. And then I think this is another one full of creams. Yes, I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of that formula, as you can tell, so these are all just more some cream lipsticks. I have a ton from them. They're one of my first lip glosses I actually loved when I started getting into makeup and I just have made quite the collection here. And then these are from NARS. Up next, I love, love, love this formula. One of my top, top for sure are these lip shines. These are so, so beautiful. Very comfortable on the lips and I love them. So I have quite a few shades of those. I also have some of their orgasm lip oils in here. Those are really nice as well. Here I do have the Rare Beauty lip glosses. I love this packaging because it like lays flat. I think it's really pretty. Um, so I have quite a few shades of those. And then I have a whole thing full of all of the Lifter glosses from Maybelline. These are a great, great, great formula. If you haven't tried them before, highly recommend. Super luscious on the lips. I have a lot of <laughs> colors in that one. Lots of Ofra. This is their lip. I think there's two different formulas in here. So we have some that are the just lip glosses and then I also think there's a flexi slip lip gloss formula as well so quite a few different lip glosses from them um, I have a lot and then I have a whole other thing of NARS this is just again a bunch of those lip shines that I love so much and then also I think there's a few glosses here on the bottom but love that formula this one I have is persona I like I mentioned I love their liquid lipsticks but they also have a really great gloss formula as well I hope they come out with more lip products this year because I feel like I don't know they only came out with a couple in 2022 so I'm hoping 2023 they give us more lip products because I love their stuff and then this one here is some of my glossy pops I have way more of them this is just like a couple <laughs> I have a bunch of these these are really cool if you haven't seen them before they are a lip balm like on top when you open this up it's a lip balm and then and you twist it out and it's actually a lipstick or a lip gloss on the bottom it just depends sometimes they're a lipstick and sometimes it's a gloss but really a nice formula and I think they're just kind of fun to have they have like sparkly ones and like fruit ones it's just a fun little lip product and then we'll move over into this corner I have a lot of just like cute little lip products I kind of have an obsession with like finding fun lip products I have so many of these um but yeah here's just like a couple a couple that I have a lot of these are just like from Amazon but look at this one though it's literally an avocado and you open it and it's like a little avocado lip balm like how cute is that I just I love cute stuff like this I just think it's so fun I just went and grabbed this because this is in a separate part of my closet but these are all like the fun ones I have I have even more probably than this but like I said I just love finding fun lip products it's like one of my little <laughs> hobbies I'm always scrolling at Amazon <laughs> looking for some so yeah um over here is just a ah, lip balm so just some fun lip balms I have I guess one of those ones from Florence in here um Kaleidos has a lip treatment this one's from Co and then some of these lip, lip smacker crayon ones. In this one, I just have some random ones. These are from Winky Lux. This one's kind of pretty with the gold flex in there. I think these are all Winky Lux in here. And then I guess I have a Kylie one in here as well. Has Thrive Cosmetics. They have a nice gloss formula, very shiny, really nice on the lips. And then I also have a few of the lip veneers in here from Pokey Cosmetics as well. And here's some more drugstore options. I have the NYX Intense Butter Glosses. I went for these hard when they came out. I feel like I had every single shade. I know I had every single shade. I collected them. So I've just since kept a couple left, but they also have their butter glosses as well. And then I just have some from Milani back here and then also one from Joa as well. I just have a couple from Fenty. So I have a few of her gloss bombs. And then I also have some from Pixie 
cosmetics as well. This one is just so random. I think I have a lot of just like these fun iridescent like clear glosses. This one is from Laritzi. I have a few from Adult 10. This is actually a really nice formula from them. Um, I have a couple looks like from Tarte in here. And then here, oh, here's more of those Sharon C ones I was telling you guys about. I guess the other one must have ended up over there, but that's the lip lacquer from them. Just some more random ones in this one. I have some Lime Crime in here. Um, this one's from Kaleidos. This one here is from Pure. What happened to Pure, you guys? I haven't seen anything from them in so long, but one of their lip glosses. This is Undone Beauty. I think this one is um, Gadi, so just a fun one from them. And then this next one has some random drugstore ones. I have Physicians Formula, Elf in here. I really love their lip oils. This is the color in Nude Kiss, really pretty. And then I have some of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow lip glosses. And then I have some of the Juicy Bombs from Essence. These are kind of fun because they just remind me <laughs> of like my childhood. They have like a scent to them and everything. Those are so fun. Okay, and that's everything for this first one here with all of our lip glosses. And then let's move on to this top one. I know I have a lip gloss problem, but more lip glosses up here. So I actually have two here in the front of Lorac. I really like their lip products. I feel like nobody ever talks about Lorac, but they have some amazing products. So these are their diamond lip glosses. I have a bunch of different colors in these. Really, really pretty um, lip options. I have lots of different ones. Some are sparkly, some are just more like base to them. And then I have a bunch of other Lorac lip glosses here as well. And then this one just has a bunch of drugstore. I think it's a lot of Catrice. So this one is a rose one from Milani, but I have a lot of the Catrice ones. So they're um, lip oil. And then these are really nice. These are their extreme um, lip plumpers. These remind me a lot of the Too Faced ones. So those are really good. Some of the fruit fetish ones from Milani in here as well. This one here just has a lot of my MAC. So some I've kept over the years from them, some of their glosses. And then I have, I think these are, what's this, PYT. I have this really fun gloss from them. This one is from Bad Habit, a lip oil. And I have some Huda in here. These are her lip strobes, so I have quite a few of those. These, remember when these came out, these are the um, Silk Balms. I have some of those in here. This one here is from Ciate London. This came out with their Smiley Collection. I have a Kosas lip oil in here. And then another one from Bad Habit. Our way over, I have some from Bare Minerals. They have a really nice gloss formula as well. I think I have a review up on these on my channel, but yeah, lip glosses from them. I have so many because they sent me over the whole shade in those or the whole range in those. So lots of those. I also have a bunch of these lip um, products from Laura Mercier as well. These are their glosses that came out this year. So I have quite a few shades of those. One of my favorite lip formulas are the Kapari lip glosses. I have a bunch of them. I have so many more too, just like <laughs> throughout my house. But one of my favorite lip glosses just to like throw on. It's a nice hydrating treatment. You can wear it with lip liner. These are just amazing. So love those. I am an affiliate with Kapari if you ever want to get anything from them. I just have a code and it is Makeup Molly 15. It gets you 15% off their site. And then I have a couple other ones in here. I have one from Florence by Mills. And this one is from Skin Proud. And then I have Urban Decay over here. I have some of their high shine <laughs> high fi shine lip um, glosses these are so old you guys have had these literally forever but I still wear them from time to time I don't know but I have quite a few colors of those I also have this one this came out this year I think they're clear what is this called the coconut water lip gloss I did like this one a lot as well and then over here I have some of the forget the fillers from lawless a really nice formula from them I think this one who is this from this is a Patrick Ty I was like what is this one I love this one <laughs> from Patrick Ty I have his gloss in here also one random one in here from Drive Cosmetics as well. And then this next one is all of my Too Faced lip injections. I do like the formula. I know it's not for everyone, but I think it works really well <laughs> at plumping my lips. And you get used to the sting after a while, so I have lots of injections from them. And then I have more Too Faced here in the back. This is one of my favorite um, gloss formulas along with the Kapari. I use these probably equally as much. These are the Hangover Pillow Bombs. I have every single flavor so so good from Too Faced and then I also have some of the Punch Pop lip glosses from Benefit. I never really heard anyone talking about these when they came out but they're a really nice formula. They're kind of thicker. Remind me almost of like a lip um, lacquer but they're nice. And then this one here I have some from Becca. These are their glow glosses. Ugh, this takes me back. I remember when I got these I was so so excited. I've had them honestly for probably too long as well but glow glosses from them and then some from Laura Mercier and then I also have a Lancome Juicy Tube in here as well. 
And then I think this one is a lot of random ones as well. I have this one from Jouer and Skinny Dip. Um, I used to love this. I have a few of these actually. They're lip glosses. And then I also have this one from Alamar Cosmetics. Um, I have this one here. I think this is NARS. Yeah, a NARS orgasm I have in here. And then Yensa has these lip oils. These are really nice from them as well. These are um, the Super 8 lip oils. I have a code also with Yensa. It's just Makeup Molly for 30% off their site. Um, they have a clear one too, which I really like from them. This one just has a lot of my drugstore lip oils. So I have some from Revolution Beauty. I also have these ones in here. These are also from Revolution. These are the fun ones that have like the fruit look to them. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. Some from Ciate London, Grande Cosmetics. I have these Regina Lip Hydro Boost in here, Iconic London. Um, so yeah, lots of kind of just random ones in here. <laughs> I have one Zolo ColourPop just hanging out in here. I decided to move all of my ColourPop over to the other area so I can show you guys really quickly at the end what my ColourPop lip collection looks like, but I guess I just forgot one in here so I have one left. And then this one's kind of random too. I have some um, from the Creme Shop. They have a really nice lip formula. Uh, never really hear much about them, but I really like these. And then also Wet n Wild. I have a few of their different lip glosses, the Stitch Collection. Um, and these are really fun. We just have a few more to get through here in the back. I have all of these lip glosses from Essence in here. They sent over a big package. So these are their lip shines. So lots of those. Some of them have like reflect in them. Some of them would just have like a clear base, but a nice drugstore option. And then in this one, I have this watermelon one. This is from um, Physicians Formula. It's really nice from them. And then I have a lot of Florence in here. So some of her lip glosses, a few of her lip oils as well. And then I think I had some overflow in the last one of Physicians Formula, but this is a lot of them as well. So more of those watermelon glosses, some of their diamond plumpers. I have some NYX in here, some CoverGirl, Flower Beauty it looks like. These are really nice from NYX as well. This came out I think last year, but this is the um, Juicy Gloss. I really enjoyed this one from them. Then this last one over here, I just have a few random ones again. Glam Light Fro Frosted Flakes. I have a Dior Lip um, Oil in here. I also have a few from Jill Stewart. This one is a um, Ciate London. I have just a couple more random glosses in here. But that is everything, you guys, for this section that I have all of this stuff in. I also have a few other lip products throughout my um, area here that I can just show you guys really quickly. So this video is getting so long, so I don't want to like <laughs> drag it on any more than I need to. But in this one, I just have the Rare Beauty lipsticks as well as these really cute little heart ones from Too Faced. And then in this other organizer, I have... Oh no, it took me so long to organize these two. But these are the Lady Bold lipsticks from Too Faced and now I need to put them all back. Perfect since it's at the end here, just like wake you up a little bit, but I need to redo that. And then in the corner over here, I have some of my MAC. I have this little organizer here that has all of my MAC bullet lipsticks. And then I also have a few of their glosses, just some of the fun ones I've kept. And then in the back over there, I have the new ones from NARS. I've been really liking those. And then I know I told you I had a lot more glossy pops. So here are a bunch of those. And then I won't bore you guys with this too much because this is just like a bunch of ColourPop. I know this video is getting really long, but I have all of my lippy sticks from ColourPop in here, like all of the colored ones. I keep them in this box because it's easy to reference. I have all of the Luxe lipsticks. I kept these in here too, just because I feel like it looked cute and it was an easy way for me to find them. Same thing with these True Kiss lipsticks. There's a bunch of these as well. And then I also have this big acrylic <laughs> organizer here with a bunch of ColourPop lipsticks. Um, some of their glowing lips. These are just like their glosses. Fresh Kiss, so lots of different formulas. And the last few I have, just a couple here from YSL. And then over here in the corner, I do have some from um, Ulta Beauty, just a bunch of their lip glosses there in the corner. But I think I'm going to just leave it here. I know I have some more of my vanity, but I know this video is getting so long. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know you guys have been asking for it. And soon I think we're going to start with the declutter because we need to declutter some of this makeup. But thank you, as always, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.